peace and blessings, family. The energy is very high right now. And uh, a lot of information is coming in. And there are a lot of forces that don't <clears throat> want certain information to come out. And so I kind of got turned off of here. So I'm glad I'm able to reconnect and speak with you guys because um, I really want to express this. Now, what am I about to express? Um, you don't have to agree. You can agree or disagree. I'm not really here to make a, de um, a debate about um, anything. I just wanted to share my way of, you know, looking and what's in my reality of um the woman's menstrual cycle and just all of the beautiful yummy energy that's coming in right now people family like um the divine goddess the divine primal force energy the kali energy the shati whatever you know divine name that it goes by is on the horizon you can feel it i know some of you people just feel that I don't know. I feel like my solar plex and my sacral chakra is busted wide open. Like, I feel like it's like, bow! Like, I really feel the power of what's coming in right now. And I, I'm really standing in my power. And it's standing in the power of all of us. We are all magical. And before I go in, because this information is just channeling, I want to know, can, um, can you hear me? Um... Oh, I forgot to put here. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I know sometimes you can't. Um, But yeah, so right now, things are shifting. Everything is shifting now. When I speak about the Kali energy, that energy force is resides inside of us. Is nothing outside of us. The Shakti, that primal energy is in all of us. And that energy brings things to light. People may see Kali as a, uh, a man eater, a destroyer, or, you know, all these different things that they put on this, this figment that's really us. is really just bringing justice. It's bringing the darkness to the light. You have to have chaos to have order. So... Right now, what you see is people are owning their goddess within. Men have a goddess within their selves that they need to uh, unite with. Because right now, it's a different energy field circulating right now. And it's all divine feminine energy. That's the only way this planet is going to go back to, to balance. Is when we are operating out of that energy. And so right now, so many things are coming to light. When you do harm to the divine feminine, whether it be children, um, women, and even men on that divine path of tapping into that type of energy, it's going to come to light. That's why you're seeing on the TV about so many rape cases and about so many, um, you know, people molesting children. All of these things are coming up and how it comes up is how it comes up. When you do wrong to people. You're going to get that shit back. It's a reflection of how you feel on the inside. So all this outing of different people doing different things, they're just reaping their karma. They're just getting back what they gave out. So let everything come out. Let it come out. This planet has to get back to being balanced. It's too penetrative. You know, it's too aggressive. And so... There are a lot of beings right now, a lot of fear around the women being empowered and stepping up to the plate. And it's more than just a woman and a man thing. It's about the divine feminine energy that we all have inside of us. It's about coming together and balancing that one energy. But at a special time right now, it's fucking per good to be in a woman's body right now. Because women right now on this planet, in this 3D reality, we are powerful. And so there was a time in history, because history goes back, and I don't want to say history, her story, where women were, were seized to be witches. They were too sexual. They were whores. They were hoes. 
all these different names we just go through as women from ancient times our mothers 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 just all these wounds just hurt and shame there wasn't when, when when somebody doesn't understand something they fear it and when they don't fear it they dismiss it for they can't understand it so women we as women we can sync up on either the new moon or the full moon or some phrase of the moon all together at once just by being in each other's presence really think about that so to say for me and everybody lives in their own reality but to say that the menstrual cycle is unclean is to say that half of the women on this planet is unclean we're unclean we're toxic here we go again with shaming the body and shaming this temple. This temple has been shamed for so many centuries. So when women would sync up and, and be able to bleed on cue from the mind, from everything, to be able to bleed on cue together, to be able to birth a child, a whole being comes out of you. No other Gender or whatever, because well, I don't even want to say gender because we're all Jew gender fluid. We are all the same. But just think about the magic of you being able to bring life into this world and then sustain that life with the own your own milk that comes through your breasts. You doing that. Without the menstrual cycle, there would not be no life. You have to go through this purging and this detoxing to be able to bring in this new life. When you bleed, you release from your womb. You're releasing from the traumas of your ancient, 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 ancient ancestors. All the wounds that can't even bleed. You are bleeding for all the hurt women whose wounds have been abused. You are shedding and releasing this from bloodlines. You are shedding and releasing this from your DNA. You have to release these toxins or what we would call toxins, but it's spiritually just releasing things that no longer serve us. We do this on cue with the moon. Stop shaming yourself. There's been so much shame around everybody shaming themselves. Women and quote unquote men, we all all we do is shame ourselves. You shouldn't eat that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't think that way. Who the fuck cares what you want to eat and what you want to think? Stand in your power. It is time for us to stand in our power. Women was shamed. Because they had intuition. They could tap into their intuition. We can feel things. Now it's is is bad for us to feel or oh, we're too sensitive oh she's pms and she's on her cycle no stop shaming yourself it is special to be connected to everything around you and and every person and every being that time has came to an end it's cam it's coming to an end you know, it's, it's bent from ancient time. Even growing up as a woman, you've been shamed about your cycle. You have little girls should go through a menstrual cycle ritual where they are a ceremony. When they are brought into this new age, they are brought into the age to give gratitude and bleed be, uh, on behalf of their ancestors who went through so much to get us here through this day to day. So when a, when a girl comes to that time of age, there should be a ceremony. She should know what she is stepping into instead of just throwing her a pad or throwing her a tampon and making her feel nasty and not explaining to her how beautiful it is. All we do is shame, 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 shame. And it needs to stop. We have to know our power. And know that we are beautiful. We are divine. It is up to us, ladies, to bring balance back to this planet. Right now, it's chaotic. And another thing is, everybody is not on this agenda of the divine family rising. Consciously or not consciously knowing it. There's a lot of aggressive patriarchal 
quote unquote teachers or whatever label you want to put it on out there. Now I'm not saying they're wrong or they're right. I'm just saying that <clears throat> everybody's not here from the divine feminine energy. And so with that being said, people have their own hidden agendas. People have their own hidden agendas. People in the inside consciously are not or afraid 